Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Pinky Science Academy. This is a paper 3 for form 4 biology. So you are provided with a fruit trebled K. You are required to cut the fruit transversely through the middle section of the fruit using the knife. Then you cut one centimeter slice from the half of the fruit and remove the peel. Place the soft part of the fruit into a mortar and, and mash it into a fine paste using pesto. Add 10 ml of distilled water into the paste and stir. So using that, the reagents provided, you're supposed to test for the substances. Starch, the first one, yeah, you put 2 ml of the, the test material in the test tube or that paste. Then you add 3 drops of iodine solution and shake. So you'll, you'll see a blue-black color and then that will conclude that starch is present. <clears throat> test for reducing sugar. You're supposed to add 2 ml of the test material into the test tube. You add, add equal amount of Benedict solution and then you heat in a water bath. Do not heat directly because it might be dangerous. So you will observe change from green to blue, uh, from blue to green to yellow to orange to brown. So any of the colors you see, that shows that the reducing sugar is present. Test for proteins, you add 2 ml of the test material of that uh, paste into a test tube and then you add equal amount of uh, sodium hydroxide and then you add copper 2 sulfate dropwise. You will see a blue color that persists that shows that proteins are absent. So you are asked, you name the deficiency disease in which children that may result in feeding only specimen K. Specimen K is banana, so they might get kwashioko. The hormone that is responsible for ripening of a specimen K is ethylene hormone. For question two, you are given a photograph of various types of fruits. So you have fruit E, fruit F, and fruit G. You are supposed to say the mode of dispersal of fruit E. The mode of dispersal is wind. The reason is presence of such a rinse of weakness or an opening at the tip. And then it has wing-like membranous structure showing that it is surely dispersed by the wind. What type of fruit is shown by photograph F? Here is photograph F. It's showing a, a legume. The reason of your answer, it has two rinds of weakness or such as, then uh, that is where it is split to release the seed. Explain why how this fruit is suited to its mode of dispersal. Of course, it's those two lines of weakness that in which it is split and then it releases the, the seed. Name the type of fruit G. Fruit G is a berry. It's a type of fruit that is known as a berry. Uh, give reasons for your answer. One, it, it has freshy pericarp. Number two, it has many seeds. The type of presentation, it's parieto. Ways in which the fruit is adapted to its mode of dispersal. It is brightly colored. Uh, it has brightly colored pericarp to attract animals for the dispersal. For question three, you've been given those photographs. Y, W, Q, R, X, and R. I repeat, Y, W, Q, R, X, and R. These are the questions that you're given. You name the types of structures shown by X and Y. X and Y, they are analogous structures, where W and Z are homologous structures. State the structural differences between X and Y. X is a pentadactyl limb. Y is toughened vein with cuticles. Name the type of evolution shown by Q and R, that is divergent evolution. Adaptations of W and Z. W has sharp curved claws to hold prey. Uh, or tattoos to grasp and hold the prey. Z has webbed feet to wade or to be able to swim in water. 
name the types of skeleton shown by x and y x shows endoskeleton where y shows exoskeleton x shows endoskeleton that is x where y shows exoskeleton then by comparing structure q and r predict the type of food being fed by the animals give a reason in each case q and r that is q that the one with the long slender beak and then r it has webbed feet and it's structure q and r uh, not r is this this one with the curved beak so structure q feeds on nectar it has a long slender beak to reach the nectaries where r feeds on fresh that's why it is strong for tearing the fresh apart from structure x and y name two other examples of similar structures structure x is that structure y is that so that's eyes of a man and an octopus and then flippers in wheels and fish thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button visit pinky science academy for these and more videos thank you for watching